What is time? It's a question that we've all reflected on at some point in our lives. From the clocks that govern our routines to the calendars that divide our existence into years, months and days, time seems to be an omnipresent and unchanging force. But what if time were nothing more than a construct? What if, instead of being an objective reality, time were an illusion created by our minds, our culture, and our beliefs? Throughout history, philosophers, scientists, and thinkers have tried to unravel the nature of time. For some, like modern physicists, time is nothing more than a dimension in the vast fabric of the universe. For others, like mystics and spiritual traditions, time is an illusion that separates us from a deeper eternity. Even in everyday life, we feel how our perception of time changes. A happy moment flies by, while a minute of anguish seems to last an eternity. Time and human perception, a construction of the mind. Why do happy moments seem to pass quickly while difficult ones feel endless? Our perception of time is deeply influenced by our brain, emotions, and experiences. Neuroscientists like David Eagleman have shown that the human brain does not perceive time in a linear fashion. According to his research, time stretches or compresses, depending on the emotional intensity of an event. For example, a traumatic event may seem longer because of the number of details the brain records, while routine moments go unnoticed. This explains why children, constantly experiencing new things, feel time passes more slowly compared to adults, who are often caught in monotony. From a psychological perspective, time can also be seen as a mental construct. Psychologist Philip Zimbardo argues that each person has a dominant temporal perspective that influences their decisions and well-being. Some are anchored in the past, constantly reliving memories. Others are obsessed with the future, planning and anticipating, while a few manage to fully enjoy the present. Philosopher Henri Bergson, on the other hand, offered a deeper view by proposing that there is a difference between chronological time, measured by clocks and calendars, and lived time, which is subjective and fluid. For Bergson, Real time cannot be divided into seconds or minutes because it feels like a continuous flow that depends on our internal experiences. He reminds us that it's not the clock that rules, but our own perception. Time in modern physics, relativity and the illusion of temporal flow. Time has also been challenged by modern physics. What was once believed to be a linear and constant flow measured by the ticks of a clock, is now understood as something malleable and relative, depending on who is experiencing it and from where it is observed. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, developed in the early 20th century, forever changed our understanding of time, revealing its paradoxical nature and, in some sense, its illusory quality. According to special relativity, Time does not flow the same for everyone. Einstein introduced the concept that time and space are intertwined in a fabric called space-time. This fabric deforms in the presence of speed and gravity, causing time to pass more slowly or quickly, depending on the circumstances. For example, if two twins are in different places, one on Earth and the other traveling in a ship at a speed close to that of light, the traveling twin will experience time more slowly. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been confirmed through experiments using atomic clocks on satellites and airplanes. According to modern physics, all events, past, present, and future, coexist in space-time. This implies that the past does not disappear and the future already exists in a mathematical sense challenging our intuitive perception that time moves in a single direction. This idea echoes in the concept of the block universe, proposed by some physicists, which describes the universe as a block where all moments are equally real. From this perspective, time does not flow. 
it simply is. However, for humans, whose experience is limited by the neurochemistry of the brain and subjective perception, this idea can be disorienting. Carlo Rovelli argues that time may not be a fundamental characteristic of the universe, but an emerging approximation derived from our interaction with reality. Reflecting on these ideas, it is hard not to feel small in the face of the cosmos. Yet at the same time, these revelations invite us to appreciate time not only as a constant, but as a miracle of perception. Every second we live is an encounter between physics, biology, and the human mind, creating a unique dance we call existence. Time and Spirituality – Eternity versus Temporality In many spiritual traditions, time is seen as an illusion. In Hinduism and Buddhism, for example, the concept of illusion implies that our perception of reality, including time, is a construct that distances us from eternal truth. According to these traditions, what we experience as linear time is nothing more than a conditioned form of perception. Meditation, yoga, and other spiritual practices aim to transcend this illusion in order to connect with the eternal, the unchanging. Saint Augustine, one of the great Christian thinkers, proposed in his Confessions that time is a subjective experience. Past, present and future are merely constructs of our mind, while God resides in eternity, beyond these limitations. For mystics, time ceases to exist in moments of deep spiritual connection. Eckhart Tolle, a well-known contemporary writer, popularized the concept of the eternal now, based on the idea that time is a distraction from the true experience of life. Tolle argues that we live trapped in the prisons of the past and the worries of the future, forgetting that the only real moment is the present. A modern example of this experience can be found in the accounts of those who have had near-death experiences. Many people claim that, in those moments, time ceases to exist. They feel a deep connection with something greater, something that transcends the boundaries of linear time. Spirituality invites us to reconsider our obsession with time and its control over our lives. We live with clocks, calendars, and deadlines that shape our decisions. But how much of that is real? Transcending time does not mean ignoring it, but learning to live in harmony with its flow while recognizing that there is something beyond its reach an eternity that is not measured in seconds or years, but in experiences. Time as a tool of social control. Throughout history, the concept of time has been used not only as an objective measure to organize our lives, but also as a tool of power and control. Social, political, and economic structures have shaped the way we understand and live time, influencing our daily routines expectations, and ultimately, our freedom. With the arrival of the Industrial Revolution, time began to be managed in a more strict and systematic manner. Before this period, time was primarily associated with the natural cycles of the day and the seasons. However, factories and mass production changed the way people perceived and used time. Workers were divided into shifts, and work hours were established to maximize efficiency. The control of time wasn't limited to workplaces, but expanded to all aspects of daily life. Today we live under constant pressure to organize our lives around the clock. We wake up at set hours, follow strict work schedules, and our social and family activities are also structured based on available time. The fast-paced nature of modern life sometimes generates a sense of anxiety and stress. People, constantly pressured by time, become trapped in the need to meet deadlines and social expectations, losing the ability to fully enjoy the present moment. The pursuit of efficiency becomes a burden, limiting our freedom to decide how to spend our time. Time control has also been a mechanism of political and economic control. Authoritarian regimes, for example, 
seek to control people's lives through time management, dictating work hours, rest periods, and social activities is a way of maintaining order and subordination. Time is much more than a mere measure of human existence. It is a mental construct, a physical phenomenon, a spiritual concept, and a tool of social power. Recognizing its complexity and how it influences our daily lives can help us question the structures that impose it and free ourselves from the constant pressure of the clock. Reflecting on time invites us to live more consciously, valuing the present moment and understanding that, ultimately, time is both an illusion and a precious resource that, when understood in its true nature, can offer greater freedom and fulfillment.